let's add a gold material to the medallion. So we're going to go to the gold texture set, which includes the medallion, but we're going to concentrate here mostly on the medallion. And we're going to go through and do something manually and then look at how we can do something similar in a very quick and easy way. And so the first thing I want to do is go down to materials, not the smart materials, just the regular materials. And I'm going to grab this gold pure. Okay. And then let's also grab another version of that and drop it right above that. So we basically got two gold pures. We'll go ahead and get rid of this bottom layer and you can see what that looks like on the medallion. And so on the top gold pure, I'm going to go ahead and take the roughness up. So I'm going to increase that roughness to maybe something like that. So we've got a rough version and a very shiny version. And so let's say we want to create an effect where the medallion is gold, but it's been worn a little bit rougher on the edges. And so anywhere we have edges, we want those to be this gold rough, but maybe in the other areas, we want it to be shiny like this one. And so I'm going to go ahead and rename this gold rough. And so what we can do is utilize uh, some of the maps that have been created in Substance Painter. In this case, we'll use the curve map. So what we want to do is utilize some of the maps created in Substance Painter. And so we can utilize those using generators. And so let's go ahead and I'm going to add a black mask. Okay, so now we're only seeing this gold pure, which is the shiny one. But instead of painting on this mask and trying to paint all the edges, we can add a generator that will generate the mask for us. So let's go up here and add effect and we'll add a generator. Now you can see that drops it right underneath the mask. And now it's asking us what kind of generator do we want? So if we click on this, there are lots of different kinds of generators. We have generators to create dirt and uh, fiberglass and things like that. And we can see a lot of those, if we go over to smart masks, a lot of these are driven by these generators. And, and these are something where you can just drop this on instead of creating it from scratch to create dirt or dust and things like that. So what we're going to do is just create a generator here. I'm going to start typing in curve and we're going to use a simple curvature generator. So what that's going to do is create this mask based on the curvature of the map for this particular piece. And so let's come in and take a look at this and you can kind of see it already happening along the edges. Okay. Or you can see it's a little bit rougher here. So if we come into this curvature, we can come in here and start to manipulate this. So you can see the image inputs at the bottom. We have a curvature map, a position gradient, world space normals, things like that. Okay. We can go ahead and roll down the curvature and then we can choose from here. We've got sliders for soft, medium, large, big, huge. And so we can use that to drive how much of the effect is on the curves. Let's go ahead and take the big down a little bit. We'll go ahead and take the large down as well. So we're getting a little bit more of that shininess in there. That roughness really helps bring out some of that sculpted detail as well. Let's go ahead and take the huge down as well. And if you turn this off and on, you can really see along these edges, how that roughness is being added. You can see there's also a mode here right now. It is set to edges. So if we switch that to cavities, we've got dual there. So there you can see the edges are shiny. So in some instances, you may want that. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on edges. All right. And then we can start layering these different effects on this mask. So we are masking by the edges, but let's say we want to add a little bit of a kind of tarnish or roughness around the surface. And so let's go ahead and we'll add another generator. And on this one, let's go ahead and just use this dirt. All right. And so now we're not seeing the effect of the curvature because this one's on top but you can see now it's creating a nice effect on the roughness where we get a little bit more of not an even glossiness across the surface. And we can go into the dirt and we can change the dirt level so we can get a little bit more shiny. Okay, you can change the contrast as well. So it's, it still has that gold shininess, but it's not uniform. And so it makes it look a lot more realistic. You've also got grunge amounts that you can change here. All right. And we want to definitely see both of these and so I'm going to change our uh, blending mode to screen. And then you can also take the effect of this down a little bit using these values. So you can really dial it in so you can see the edges, but also the more of the tarnish on the side. All right. Now we added generators to create our masking that will show this particular material. And you can do that with any materials that you're working with. In addition, you can use these smart masks instead of 
creating a mask from scratch and just drop this onto uh, that piece. So it just as kind of a test, we could add another material. Let's just add this blue plastic for a second. And so then if we went to our smart masks and we said, okay, uh, I want to use the uh, cavity rust here and drop this on here. So now you can see you've only got that blue material in the cavities now. And we, all we did was drop that smart mask right on top of there. And then you can come in here and you can start to change some of the values. It's using these textures and we could change the amount, the texture that it's using. You can see that changes things. We could change things by dialing this texture. All right. So let's go ahead and delete that. In addition, you have the smart mask, but then you also have the smart materials. And those are materials that have all of this built in. So for instance, we have a gold armor and gold damaged. If we were to drop this gold damaged on top of here, up at the top, let's turn off these. You can see that that actually has all of that built in. And if we open up our folder, you can see the mask being driven by a fill. You can see the dirt, the roughness stains. You can see all that working together. And then the color down here, all that working together to create this gold damaged using those maps. All right, so you can create things from scratch. You can also really quickly add some detail on those as well. Or you can really quickly drop in pre-made smart materials or smart masks to help you do what you want to do. Now, in addition, you know, we created the the gold shininess, you could also, if you wanted to, you know, add a little bit of dirt in some of the crevices. Uh, you could do that as well. Uh, we could create a new fill layer here and make this kind of a dark red or brown, kind of a rusty color maybe. I don't think gold's going to rust, but maybe we want more of a dirt color. Okay. And on the roughness, we'll make sure that that is really, really rough as the dirt would be and then create another mask. And now, just as we did before, we'll add a generator and let's choose uh, dirt. And now you can see that dirt appearing across the surface. And in some of these crevices, it's a little bit more intense. So now you can, again, go back and play with your dirt levels, dirt contrast, take the whole thing down a little bit. Okay. You can also take this and right now, I don't want it to affect the metalness or the normal or the height. Turn that back on. Let's go back into our dirt. Add some of that dirt back in. You get the contrast. And so you can add a little bit of tarnish in there. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do. But uh, the next thing that we want to do is now create some additional detail inside here. So we want to create kind of a little pattern, maybe a color inside there of, of paint or light uh, coming out. And so we'll go ahead and do that next.